this is question 5 and the first question is past journal entries for the following transactions are the time of dissolution of the firm a part loan of rupees 10000 advanced by a partner to the firm was refunded that is we have to draw the proper format then first part partner's loan account debited to cash account being loan advanced by the partner to the firm was refunded to the was refunded to the partner by the partnership firm and the amount being rupees 50000 each then b part x a partner takes an unrecorded asset or typewriter at rupees 300 x a partner took away the asset or typewriter which was not written in the book at rupees 300 that is excess capital account debited to realization account 300 each both in the debit and credit columns being unrecorded being the unrecorded typewriter taken over by the partner x c part undistributed balance or debit balance of profit and loss account of 30,000 the firm had three partners x y and z that is c part excess capital account debited rupees 10,000 Y's capital account debited rupees 10,000, Z's capital account debited rupees 10,000 to realization account 30,000 being accounted accumulated debit balance in the profit and loss account transferred. Then D part assets of the firm realized rupees 1,25,000 that is cash account debited rupees 1,25,000 to realization account rupees 1,25,000 being assets of the firm realized then e part y who undertaken undertakes to carry out the um, dissolution proceed um, proceedings is paid rupees 2000 for the same that is realization account debited to cash account being y paid rupees 2000 for dissolution expenses of the firm of rupees 2000 y here may not be a partner or if it is a partner we are paying like ordinary person as an ordinary expenses a part Creditors paid 28,000 in full settlement of their account of rupees 30,000. That is a part. Realization account debited to cash account rupees 28,000. Being creditors paid rupees 28,000 in full settlement of their account of rupees 30,000. 28,000 each both in the debit and credit and totaling is rupees 1,95,300. Both debit and credit columns total. Then 